Oh yeah, so you're not a bitch, baby? I run this country! I'm nobody's bitch, baby! I don't know, you still sound like a little bitch, baby! I'm not a little bitch, baby! Then show me! Prove it to me! Right now, show me who you are, Cyrus Bean! Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda, this is your first time here. Welcome to my beauty entertainment channel. Oh, absolutely. So if you like to follow on social media, here's my Twitter and my Instagram. Go have fun, enjoy yourself on there. And while you're here, you can check out some of my recent videos. A couple days ago, I posted a video, um, posted the fifth part. Look at me go. The fifth part of my Sims Let's Play series. Then before that, I posted a video talking about society's hatred of the teenage girl. And then before that, I posted a video, just another everyone is bothering me video, which was so fun to film. And yeah, so that's why you're here. Okay, those are all my recent videos. That was really fun. All right, so today, today we're going to be ranking another album. I'm so excited to start like this, this group, um, of course. So today we're going to be talking about um, the greatest ever do it, the one, the only Miss Beyonce. And today we're going to start with her most recent solo work, um, solo work. We're going to start with, um, which some call her Magnus Opus, which I would agree with that, Lemonade. I need to sit differently. I need to sit differently. Okay, so we're gonna be ranking all of the songs on Lemonade. I'm very excited. I think I ranked Lemonade third when I ranked Beyonce albums. I think third, maybe second. I don't remember. It was either third or second. And that feels right. That still feels right after listening to it, you know, again and more and more since then. That still feels right. My position that I think I'm going to change if I were to ever like redo my Beyonce ranking video would be I would change the position of self-titled. This might be just me. I don't know. As I get older, um, different older, okay, as I get years go past different albums start speaking to me in different ways so like um i did that beyonce ranking video last year and already now i feel like very very differently about self-title i i don't know i feel completely i used to like when lemonade came out when lemonade and anti came out first off i listened to them a lot obviously obviously but I listen actually to Lemonade and Anti even more now than I did in 2016 and that means I listen to them a lot the albums both speak to me a lot like way more than I did when I was like 15 years old obviously so like maybe that's what's changing my idea of like what my rankings could be but that's not what this video is about like at all <laughs> that's not what we're talking about today at all look at the havoc already reeked on my skin. I've been back at school for like maybe a week, maybe a week. And I like need to fix that. <laughs> what's, what's up? What's up with the air here? Something's not right. Okay, back to my point. So that was a little tangent about how maybe my Beyonce ranking has changed. Um, probably not though. Cause if I sit back, cause I listened to Beyonce's whole discography like last week as I do because no, it might change. The only spot changed though, I think, is self-titled. Whoa, 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 whoa. Maybe just self-titled. But anyway, let's get to the point of the video. So today I'm ranking the songs on Beyonce's Lemonade. I'm very excited. I usually, when I make these videos, have some indication of like what the uproar about my ranking is going to be that day. I have no idea with this one. I have no idea if people are going to be like, agree with me. I usually have some inkling. Of course, you have no idea if people will agree with you or not, but I usually have some inkling. I'm going in blind. So I'm just going to say my little disclaimer. We can agree to disagree and we might be disagreeing. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh God, now I'm kind of scared because usually I go in and I'm like, all right, guys, Especially for that, for that thank you next one, I knew what I was doing. <laughs> I knew that because I I talked about it on Twitter and I haven't talked about, I haven't put my ranking of this on Twitter, I don't think, but let's get to the point. So that's my disclaimer, no tea, no shade. It's okay. We can have different opinions about how to rank one of Beyonce's best works. 
okay, everything will still move on as planned. All right, so first up, so I'm gonna start, I'm going worst. Beyonce doesn't make bad music. Like her bad music is could be like someone's like greatest musical day of their life. We understand that, right? So the first song, the last song that I'm gonna be ranking on this album is Forward. That's, that's no shade. No shade, like, no shade at all. I need to buy a mirror. No shade at all. A different mirror. This one is broken. No shade at all. I just don't like it. I just don't like this song. I don't, it's very short. So like me not liking it is not really changing much, but I just them no. I don't, I don't get it. And maybe I'm not supposed to get this song. I'm fine with being out of the loop on stuff. So if this is something that I'm out of the loop on in comprehending what this song like is or supposed to like mean, I'm, I'm like, I'm okay with that. I don't get it. I'll admit that. I will admit my faults in case this is the song people stand. I will admit my faults. I just don't get it. I don't get it. So moving on. So that was forward. <laughs> In like three seconds next song I'm gonna rank okay so actually I had these next two switched I had these next two switched before I like sat down I don't know if I want to switch them again okay so anyway next song I'm gonna talk about is sorry that feels so low anyway let's talk about sorry for a second sorry's a bop sorry is a whole this I think this was my most played song when this album first came out in 2016, like you could not tell, like I, when did this album, you could not tell like 15 year old me literally anything, literally anything when Sorry came on. The, I have nothing you, nothing you were going to say was going to go through my head because this song was all that was in my head. Like I was not responsible, I still am not responsible for my actions when the song comes on. Sorry, especially not back then. I don't know what I was doing. I do like this version better than the demo considerably better than the demo it's just something light and fun not light pretty kind of heavy heavy and fun for the girls to get ready and get rank ready with angst too it's a party like we don't always have to be crying here right now it's not the time for that right now it's a party when sorry comes on it's a party and we're all about to pay attention that's what i feel do you understand like i don't know how people I've never been on a motorcycle, never been on a motorcycle, <laughs> but I have no intention of ever going on a motorcycle, but I feel like this song feels like what it feels like to be on a motorcycle. It feels like the wind is like whipping past you and you swerving between cars, like that's what this song gives me. Again, I have never been on a motorcycle. I have no intention of going on a motorcycle ever because um, I'm scared of, I don't know breaking my neck but that's what I get from this song so if anyone rides motorcycles tell me <laughs> if it's a similar feeling to what you what you feel like when sorry comes on homecoming live version do I listen to homecoming live version more a little bit mm, not as of recently as of recently um a couple I've started playing like the studio versions. Okay, whatever. I'll talk about that when I get to a different song. Like how I go between Homecoming Live and the studio versions. Okay, next song. I did have these switch. These two. Like the one, like Sorry and this song. Next song is Pray You Catch Me. Fantastic album opener. Fan, fan, fantastic, fan, phenomenal. Let's stop using third grade words. Phenomenal album opener. Whoa, maybe one of her best. One of her best. I'm gonna take away the might be. You need to be more confident in what you say. One of her best. I don't listen to the song very often. I didn't. For a period of time, I did not listen to that song all that often. Um, sorry to say it. Sorry to say it. I would not skip it because there's okay. So there's a skip where like you just don't like the song, and there's a skip when you're not in the mood. This was a skip when I'm not in the mood. 
it's okay it's okay but i used to skip it all the time but i started paying attention to it as of like last year like not skipping it as much and i do like it's gorgeous it is gorgeous it gives movie montage it gives like not romantic comedy nobody's laughing to this shit but it gives like some sort of like romance flout just a very um dramatic which you know i love i'm really low i think i need to bring my new chair over here that's what this song gives me. It's gorgeous. It's just, when you rank all of the songs on an album like Lemonade, some good songs are going to be left at the bottom. It's okay. It's okay, we can all move past that, right? We can all move past, I hope we can all move past that. Okay, it's okay. Some good songs are gonna be left at the bottom. Next song is um, Freedom. So this is a song on here. <sighs> It is higher, okay, listen, it is higher than Pray You Catch Me because of the Homecoming Live version. D -d -d wait, I play the Homecoming, I used to play only the Homecoming Live version of this song, like only, I don't think I'd heard the studio version in a very long time, but then one day I was like doing, I was um, shuffling my whole Beyonce playlist and the studio version came on, came again, and I... like felt my life change this is like last year i was like wait because you listen to, i don't know i listen to homecoming live version of, mo of a lot of her of a lot of like these lemonade songs specifically and i just don't go back to the studio version for some reason but then every time i do i'm like how how did you already take a song that is so and freedom isn't even the biggest culprit of this how do you take a song that is already so 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 good people's like biggest dreams in making a, a masterpiece and then you go and you make it better live like it i can't wrap my head around that i don't think i'm supposed to i don't think i'm supposed to because to me that just doesn't make any sense how you can make a masterpiece and then be like i'm gonna make it better i'm gonna make it better with my live voice and with instruments that's insane to me. That's insane to me. That's insane to me. But back to, back to my point. I love loud music. I love loud music. That's why I wanted to put sorry. Oh, report you catch me. Sorry. I did. I love loud music. I love loudness. It feels like I'm in the... Okay, so. I don't go on ships. But it feels like, you know, when, you, when the, like the character in like a movie or TV show is at the very edge of the ship and we're like sailing somewhere and they're like leading a charge. The first one that popped into my head is Moana. Um, probably not um, the best um, comparison, um, but you know what I'm talking about. The character who's leading the charge, charge at the edge of the ship, wind blowing through, you know, this. It works. It does work. It does work. It does work. Oof. That was bunched up. It works and I love it. So Kendrick's work Kendrick's works is fine. Like it's fine. It is. It's pretty good. I don't listen to Kendrick all that often anymore. But, you know, his verse is fine. It feels like, honestly, so I'm reading this book for my book club on my Patreon called The Wings of Ebony. And the main character, Rue, well, she has this magic, or like maybe she does, I don't know. The point that I'm at is that it's not looking, it's not looking great for her. So in this book, she has magic. And so what happened with her magic is they put little like a ball of onyx on their like hand to control their magic or that's like my theory at this point so basically whenever the magic like whenever she wants to use it the magic has to course through her veins in order to be used it has to go through like the ball of onyx that's on her skin this is making no sense but it has to go through the ball of onyx on her skin basically she feels fire within her whenever she's about to use her magic on someone else she feels like her veins get hot like her veins you know when you get like, I don't do you feel that or is something wrong with my body when like the inside just gets super super warm sometimes that's what I feel when I listen to freedom it feels like your bo body is just radiating heat from the inside out which I don't know that doesn't make much sense but in theory it does I don't use this blush often huh 
I wonder mm, that might be why that might be why it feels that's what it feels like to me listening to freedom fire coursing through my veins I can do anything after listening to this song couple songs on here actually I can do anything after I can walk up a mountain I can take a test I can do anything after listening to a majority of the songs on Lemonade it like when I when I you know, we used to be outside and we used to be on campus and I would listen to Lemonade on campus this is a song that when you're listening to it and you're walking you kind of leave wherever you are and you're not there anymore and then all of a sudden you remember oh I'm walking in the middle of Truesdale maybe I should like get it together that's what happens to me when I listen to the song freedom freedom kind of <laughs> kind of kind of freedom oopsie drop something the setup is gonna piss me off that's so much powder you know what we live and we learn sometimes and I have not learned how to properly ration powder even though I've been doing makeup for like five years now that is so so interesting to me is it not okay back to my point next song next song formation formation everything I said about sorry about how I can't like control myself when sorry comes on it's that to a different degree with formation are you it's a classic formation is a classic when it comes on everyone is up there's like there's no you can say anything you want about formation about being it being like you know the best or whatever or being you know like what i don't know music terminology but it's a song that everyone gets up on parties to you can say whatever you want because nobody is listening we're all dancing Anything can be said about formation. You can say whatever you want in the comments, but you are dancing when the song comes on, correct? You are dancing when the song comes on. Or did I have that wrong? Or did I have that wrong? Formation comes on and you're not moving? You're critiquing what? You're critiquing something while you're busting a move simultaneously. So that's why it's up to time. If anyone's gonna question that. <laughs> you're moving. Every time a song comes on, girl, we are, we are at the Super Bowl over here. We were with Bruno over here and we are dancing over here. You guys can talk amongst yourselves. Say whatever the hell you want. I, this song, not only, did I walk, is this the song? I walked out to this song at my Sweet 16. What a time to be alive. This song is, <laughs> you couldn't tell me anything for months, for months for months about this damn song. Are you kidding me? Oh shoot. An LA pimple. It's getting ridiculous in here. So that's Formation. It's the dance song of the century. One of our last big like songs where like you like go and learn the choreography immediately after watching it. Motivation is the last one. And Formation was the one before that. Look at history. And I'm wearing an Armani shirt right now. Oh my God, okay. Put my powder back. Sorry, guys. Next song. Okay. Next song. I again. I would prefer to come into this with some sort of ink link about how this ranking is gonna make people feel, but I have no idea. Whatever. I live my life to please myself. Do I not? Okay. Next song on here is Sandcastles. I pretty much turn into a classically trained vocalist. I don't know about you guys, but um, I turn into a classically years of like, do they have singing camp where they have like theater camp? I'm sure they do for years. I turn, I've been turned into a classically trained singer who has been done so wrong whenever this song comes on. I sing my heart out. How do you not? It feels like I'm falling. Okay, so you feel like you're falling into a pit, a pit of sand, obviously, because like sand castles, and the sand has sucked you in. So like, here's the sand. The sand has sucked you into this pit, and now you're like free falling, and this, but not in a scary way. Not in a scary way. You're free falling, but not in a scary way, and you don't know where you're headed, but it's peaceful. Does that make, that's the, that's a key thing here. You don't know where you're headed. You're kind of scared of what's to come, but you're also at the same time content. Kind of like life. I don't know where I'm going. I have goals and dreams, but I don't know where I'm going. Like tech, I don't know how I'm gonna get there. So I'm like content. 
living life in the present and before anything happens, anything bad happens, because like the song feels comforting while it also did make you free fall. So I don't know how comforting it really feels. But back to my point. Because it's comforting, as you're free falling and you're coming down to the end of your free fall, you could splat. In a different song, you would splat. But rather than splatting, it's like a you know the breezes that only exist in Disney princess movies? Those breezes that like take, like pick up things and carry them? One of those breezes comes and takes you and just makes you fall into a, like a, a pile of flowers. Something that would happen only in, a, in like a Disney princess movie. That's what I feel like at the end of the song. Like the way it makes me feel. Not what the song actually gives, but the way, it's like comfort yet fear of the unknown. It makes sense to me. It makes sense to me. Okay, next song. Okay, are we in top five? One, two, three, four. <sighs> I don't know. I forgot to count halfway through that. Okay. Ew. You are out of commission for like a week and you don't know what you're doing. Okay. Next song. Next song is Six Inch. So this is the song that I think y'all, um, I don't know why the conversation is so loud. We talk about Lemonade and the conversation is so loud with every song. And then we get to Six Inch and it's kind of quiet. And I don't like that. I don't like that. Not with what Beyonce did on this song. There's, and not even with what The Weeknd did on this song. I don't even care for The Weeknd music. Everyone knows that. And I, I don't like that vibe. I don't, I don't care for it. But this is one of my favorite songs. No, it's true. No, it's true. Are you kidding me? Like, it's a main character song. I'm having problems. It's a main character song. Clearly, clearly. So, like, we're an assassin. Right? And I'm, like, killing men left and right, um, fighting crime, or, like, committing crime, I don't know, and taking names. That's what we're doing, allegedly. Like, an assassin's, like, not her theme song, but kind of her theme song. I'm an assassin when I listen to the song. Allegedly. I don't calm down. And then for the last part of the song, the bridge, it feels like I'm in a car driving about 200 miles an hour. It is the most electrifying feeling of all time. Six, it, guys, because I don't hear, en I don't hear enough. Whenever Lemonade gets brought up, it's, everyone talks about love drought. And I'm like, okay, guys, I'm getting, I'm getting to that. I'm like, okay, guys, but, oh, oh, oh. What? We have to talk about other things that deserve our attention as well. But at the end of the song, like after driving 200 miles an hour on the bridge, we like return to regular life. Does anyone else get that? As the song is ending, it feels like we're taking off our gear and our wig, because in my vision, my head, my hair doesn't look like this. We're taking it off and we're like coming back to like normalcy. normalcy i'm like ignoring the whole like the like whole like come back for like a man like that whole part of this whole album i'm ignoring that for right now in my head i'm an assassin returning back to home after assassins kill a lot of people i'm some sort of super secret agent i don't work for no type of government though and i come back at home and like take off my gear and return back to normal life. That's how I feel like when I listen to the song. Six Inch is a gorgeous song. It's one, oh my God. I want to rank this higher. There's just too many good songs on here. I want to rank that like, if I were to sit down, but you know when you sit down and you're like, this song is top three and then you've named like six songs? Yeah. This song is top three, but it's number six, I'm pretty sure. That's what happens. That's what happens when you make an album like Lemonade. People aren't able to pick, including myself. So next song, everyone's been wondering where this song is. Next song is Love Trout, Intergalactic Space. Uncharted, that's where this song is, is in uncharted territory. Like whenever I try to translate what I'm seeing in my head, whenever I listen to a song, I like try to translate it to like tell you guys, what I'm seeing currently, I don't think it can be defined through like earth parameters. It's something other, it's something, it's something out, outer, otherworldly, but yet ancient. 
like grounded. That's where the ancient um, part of it comes from, is it being grounded. She's like unlocked some, Beyonce's unlocked some sort of ancient code. And I'm getting like a glimpse into this society. Like they welcome Beyonce with open arms because obviously, but I'm like looking in. I don't, I just don't understand how she made this song. I don't understand what, I don't understand what's going on. But yet that almost like ancientness, like she almost unlocks something we have in our past, makes you feel connected in a way to the song. But yet as if you just listen to it just off the top, you're like, I don't understand how you made this. This is not of this planet. Right? No, that doesn't make sense, Amanda. It makes sense a little bit to me. Back to my point. I just don't understand how, how she made that song. And I don't think I'm supposed to. Maybe once I unlock and get into like the higher realm, maybe I'll understand it then. Oh, fun. That blush is interesting. A new one I used. Okay, next song after Love Drought. Yes, that's one I do know. Cause a lot of people are like, Love Drought is the best song on my made. And I'm like, One of the better songs, oh no, I'm just seeing this and now I know which one's gonna make you guys upset. Sorry, sorry. I apologize at the beginning of the video. Next song, next song, this is, okay, count. One, two, three, this is top four. Okay, next song is Daddy Lessons. Everyone get the fuck up, but I already know you're up because Daddy Lessons is playing. I already know you're up because, okay, listen. It's one of the greatest country songs of all time. The Crackers can really suck it. Like, y'all were so mad because it was so good. That was the problem. It was so good. That's why they were so angry and were trying to do everything in their power to be like, this ain't a country song. What? Have you listened to it? <laughs> yes, it's a country song. Are you kidding me? I don't understand the problem forehead whole forehead like big veins like busting because beyonce wants to use a guitar like i don't like everyone calm and the song is good um that's what being hateful gets you you can't even listen to good music because a negro is singing see what happens it's a whole the song is so good and when she sang it with the dixie chicks are you kidding me are you are you kidding me that y'all are such anti-black haters i don't know no, I don't know. You guys are anti-black haters, and it sucks. See, I have to sit up here, because the camera's higher. This song should have won every single award out there. That's just my god honest belief. The song should have won nearly everything. It was even considered for and could have been considered for more stuff. Um, that's just the way it is. How do you, you write something like this? You need to get rewarded. You, she will be rewarded in life, obviously. But you need to be, there needs to be some, some sort of physical reward as well because this is something in different areas. I think country music actually is like decent. It's like decent. I have always I have country songs that I like, and then like a few artists, and by few I mean like as out of like current ones like Casey Musgraves, and like that's it. Um, so like country's okay to me. I was a country stan when this song comes on. Mm, yeehaw that's just the way it rolls that's just the way I am because like I love a fun song and a fun song is gonna go up higher on my ranking I'm so I turn into like a country line dance when the song comes on like yes I love country music yes I want to ride a horse of course I do so I do like daddy lessons um now we're in top three I'm keeping it here. Oh, this is gonna make you guys upset. Okay, so third best song, third best song on Love, or as I think, I agree with what I'm saying, and I have since 2016. Third best song on Lemonade is Hold Up. We'll see. Come here. I debated putting this in top three at first. At first is the key word there because just listing it off the top of my head, like when I was just writing them down, um, just like trying to rank them. 
this goes in I hear hold up I think top three automatically it just makes sense based on just pure emotions and feelings and which I kind of still am doing but if I were like just off the top of my head it goes in top three so I was debating it putting it in top three and then I was like what song goes above this and you're probably naming songs right now but I'm like I disagree I only think the two songs above this, because listen to me, Hold Up is so funky. <laughs> it is so different. It's never been done before. It's never been done before. First of all, we have it for the most part. She's singing in her, she's singing in a lower register. I love that. I adore. Hello? Hello? It's so relaxed. I play the instrumental all the time when I study. Does it not relax you? It relaxes me. It feels like I'm almost in... This is what I like, is the feeling that comes with it. I describe this a little bit. I use the like being inside Big Ben to describe something else. I'm using something different this time. So you know I'm in a factory. You know what, like in a, in a this, isn't, this usually happens in cartoons, because this is not realistic in real life, I think you'd die. And they're like trying, like they're jumping the intermingling workings of a random factory. They're trying to like jump to the conveyor belts and levers and stuff. That's what this feels like. But in slow mo, because hold up is kind of it's kind of slow. It kind of makes you wait. When the big when the big I don't know what drum that is when that big ass drum gets hit in the chorus, it feels like I'm jumping from one almost wrecking ball to another. That's not realistic though, because wrecking balls are to wreck things. But you know when those like the two balls come and they click together, those two like big like met like metal or concrete balls come and click together. I feel like I'm jumping from one to one whenever that big drum hits. It feels video game-esque with no immediate danger. I'm just vibing. I'm just running in the intermingles of a factory because I can. Again, unrealistic movie. Think movie. We're thinking like uh, as used up as possible. That's what I get when I listen to this song. Why I think it's third best is because I think it's good. I do think Hold Up is better than Love Drought. I do. I will get shit for that. I do. I'm sorry. I can't change the way my brain works. Can. Many have tried. Can. Hold Up makes, uh, Hold Up is my favorite Beyonce song on this album. Favorite, yes. But I know that from between favorite and best. That's why. That's why I didn't put it up as number one. Because if I didn't, I would have put it in number one. But that's not true. It's not true that Hold Up is the best song on Lemonade. It is my favorite, but it's not true that it's the best song. It's one of the best songs, though. Move on. Save, save your comments. Okay, next song. These two are... I don't know where they would be if not in the spots one and two. On your ranking, it's going to really confuse me if I go in the comments and see any of these two songs not in top three. It's really gonna like stab me in the chest. Second best song on Lemonade is Don't Hurt Yourself. I feel at this point that that's a given. I feel at this point that where, no like seriously, where would you put it? You're not, you're not putting it lower than any of the songs I named previously, are you? That doesn't make any sense. Rock Beyonce injected immediately. Injected immediately. Maybe that's the vaccine. Injected immediately. Angry, angsty, loud. I love good thrashing music. Now I cannot talk about "Don't Hurt Yourself" obviously without talking about the Homecoming Live version. This is the this is the song I was like talking about. I don't know how she made this song better. It's a song I was listening to Home in the Line version pretty much only for like a while, like a long while. And then I went back into the, to the studio version came on and I was like, oh, I'll just skip it. Not let it play. How did you make this song better? How did you take, cause Don't Hurt Yourself studio version is already nearly immaculate, not nearly, pretty much immaculate. And then she goes on Homecoming Live and just I don't know if it's the, it being live that just adds the extra like oomph to it, but it makes me live. I don't, my mindset is different when Don't Hurt Yourself is on. I'm in a, I have a different mindset. I'm now able to conquer all things. Um, there's no worrying worries. Nope, those don't exist. I kind of feel angry 
but not I don't get angry very often but like calm it's almost like prevent it's almost like you like um the warning like when you're singing this song because obviously you, have to, you can't just sit and listen to don't hurt yourself you need to be giving some sort of performance but on a show when you're doing this it's almost like you're giving a warning to someone don't hurt yourself don't don't and i really like that message don't hurt yourself be wary you don't know what goes on up here stop so i don't know how to make this song better i do think the home live version is better than the studio version I do believe so. Um, I don't think that's like an unpopular thought though at all. It really shouldn't be at this point. Number two, because it's better than the other songs I named. That's it. It's just, have you listened to it? Like, I can give you a reason and I just did, but have you listened to it? <laughs> that's reason enough. So that's number two on lemonade and now we're on to the best song on lemonade um what did you think it was gonna be if you're like confused what did you think it was gonna be okay wait i should have asked that at the beginning i should have been like what do you what did you what do you think like what, what do you think what did you what do you think I would put as the best song on Lemonade. I should have asked that. That took way, I, woof, that took way too long for me to figure out that sentence. But I feel like you knew this. The best song on Lemonade is All Night. I hope we are in agreement with that. Again, I'm looking at this video blind. I think we're in agreement with that. Where else are you putting All Night? Where, that, no. Don't hurt yourself. I still am like, where else would you put that? Not only is All Night the best song on this album, I'm about to make a general statement, it is top 10. <sighs> top, that's a big statement and I'm going to make it. It is top 10 Beyonce songs of all time. So I don't know where you would put this, if not number one. It's a little bit concerning. Um, yeah, All Night is much better than Love Drought. Oh my God, blush all over my much better than Love Drought. Not much better than that Love Drought is bad. It's just All Night is better. Much better. It also gave me one of my favorite Beyonce performances, the one with the braided ponytail on title. It just does something to me. It's really crazy how like we're alive in the same like time frame as Beyonce. That's really crazy to me. Hmm. Vibe with it. You're alive at the same time as Beyonce. Love it. The horns, like are you, it's almost like the song was meant for me. You cannot be much surprised by my response to this song. Horns, string, and, and bass. No. I don't know what she puts into all night. She's basically singing circles just singing up and down this whole track just because she can it wasn't even necessary <laughs> it wasn't even necessary when she performs the song too i'm like you didn't have to do that but you did and then that is why i am so grateful to be alive at the same time because i you cannot i cannot wrap my head around this song listening to it from from her sitting in a studio then I go watch that performance and I'm like, you were able to do this in person as well. That doesn't make sense to me. It is one of the most beautiful songs I've ever heard in my entire life. Are you kidding me? I'm about to go listen to it after I finish this again on loop. Does it not make you feel beautiful all night? Does for me. That's what we're gonna leave it. It's the best song because it makes me feel beautiful. Yup. It's a gorgeous song. Gorgeous song. Oh no, that's the best song on Lemonade. I don't really, I don't know how you can argue that. Someone will in my comments argue with me with that, but I don't, I don't know why or how or with, what is your rebuttal? to me saying All Night is the best song in Lemonade. What is your rebuttal to that? Because now I'm going to be confused. Because if you come with Love Drought, I'm going to need to insult that song. No. 
Love Drought gives what you guys say it does give. It does give that, but it does not give as much as you guys think it gives. Does that, it gives what you guys say it gives, but it doesn't give what you guys say it gives. When you start saying things like a best song on Lemonade, when you start saying things like better than all night, that's when I'm like, okay, let's reel it back in and come back to reality because that's not true. We have, there's a problem. Some of us are over here and some of us are over or out, or, 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 no. No. We're talking reality, the real world. That's, that's the end of my ranking. <laughs> that's the end of my ranking. Uh, Lemonade as an album, I appreciate way more now than I did in 2016. Not that I didn't like it, obviously, but Lemonade has aged so well. Lemonade has aged so, so, so well. Even after Homecoming Live, even after she made all of those songs better, duh -duh, I still go back and I'm shocked every time by the studio versions. Even though I know, I, that doesn't make any, do you see how that doesn't make any sense? How you make a song better, but every time I go listen to the original version of the song, I'm still like wowed every time. Who else is doing that? No one. So yeah, I don't know what everyone's response to this is gonna be, so like, have fun in my comment sections, I guess. But yeah, that's the end of my video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, let me know what you're ranking. <laughs> let me know what your ranking of Lemonade is, if it's different than mine, or like similar or whatever, we'll see. We'll see, you know. Let me know why you think the way you think. We can agree to disagree. We can have different opinions. Love that for us. So yeah, that's the end of my video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you would like to follow me on social media, here's my Twitter and my Instagram. Go have fun, enjoy yourself on here. And then while you're here, check out some of my recent videos that should be on your screen right about now. So, so, so very fun. And yeah, I hope you guys are staying healthy and safe inside your homes. Best you can. And yeah. Um, that's the end of my video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.